welcome, welcome, welcome to The Sigma Show, episode 122. I am your host, Sigma. Just before I let you know who's joining me this week, and there are a lot of them, real quick, we'll go over what our topics will be. Uh, first up, uh, we finally got confirmation that Nintendo is making a live-action Legend of Zelda movie. Uh, we will get into what we know about it so <clears throat> far and what we think about it so far. Uh, mm -hmm. should be an interesting conversation. Uh, following that, uh, ran into an interesting story about a uh, a family that is filing a lawsuit against several major publishers in regards to addictive video game practices. Um, and you may you may want to have a visceral reaction to say like, no, that's BS. But to be honest, there may be some merit to what's going on here. And I just want to discuss kind of where the problems may lie and where this case could possibly go. Uh, and here to do that with me today, uh, Ash Redux. Yo, 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 Casey just gave me to run this morning, but it doesn't matter. I came here for Zelda talk anyway. We love to hear it. Uh, the other Frost. I'm still taken aback because uh, you guys missed out on little technical difficulties from Ash over yeah, call, call here. Call he was man out, he, please. He, he was God for a second. I'm telling <laughs> you, it was black screen voice modifiers sounded like Morgan Freeman and Steam. Uh, Steam was coming up behind Yeah, you. like he looked and like a ghost. I don't choirs I can't, of I can't angels. explain what he did. So I just think everybody, I think all of you guys were just tripping on a little acid. Yeah. I'm the only yeah. normal one here. Were we just collective a, hallucinations. Oh, folly, folly yeah. ado here. The church yeah, choirs the, and all. Mm, yeah, everything. absolutely. I, saw, I didn't hear I any saw, of this, I saw God, so yeah, I'm frosted. <laughs> <laughs> Renewed. Uh, also joining us, Rachel Kayser. Uh Hi, and I'm... Uh, just incredibly pleased by the fact that Frost said, well, I assume that was, I would assume that's Bayonetta music, except Rachel would have said something. And I'm like, yes, the fact that I am Bayonetta expert is what everyone should know me for. Yes. Uh, and last but not least, joining us for the first time here, uh, Darren, a.k.a. Shadow Okami from the Rusty Rupees. Uh, if you guys Yay! don't remember, we had Justin from the Rusty Rupees here a couple weeks back. Darren should have been on that show. Uh, he missed it by just a hair's was... breath. Sleepy and dead to the world until literally the end of the recording. So thank you for having me, Casey. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Glad you can make it. Back on. Appreciate You're finally it. here. Uh, real quick though, if you want to let folks know, since it is your first time on here, kind of like what you do, uh, remind them about Rusty Rupees in general. Uh, like a real quick little bio thing, and then we'll jump into um, some of our topics. Before you do, sure. oh, yeah, turn your right. slack off. Oh me. Oh shoot. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> all right. Now, it's Sunday, Casey. You're now, not working. Now, now tell you're us right, about yourself. Right. I'm always working, by the way. <laughs> I'm never not working. <laughs> Fair. All right, Slack is off. Let's go. So anyway, once again, what's up, guys? Name's Darren. I'm uh, one of the hosts and editor of the Rusty Rupees podcast, where we same thing, talk about gaming news, go off about anime, music, movies. Um, we stream daily over at twitch.tv slash Rusty Rupees, where me and the other three of my compatriots go on, give our own little different gaming, just g gaming taste throughout the week. Um, how community days, Tekken Tuesday, every Tuesday, even though we hate life right now, playing Tekken 7 and not 8, but that's besides <laughs> the point. We are fiending a bit, but um, yep. Uh, check us out. Uh, we uh, we stream, like I said. You can check us out on podcast services, Spotify, SoundCloud, iTunes, all of that at Rusty Rupees. Uh, come on down. We talk a lot of shit to one another, but we are a good time. It is a good time. I've seen a lot of their shows, and they, they're a fun group. I just subscribed on your YouTube, by the way. Excellent. Everyone follow you. Ash's lead for like the first time in history. Do what Ash does. Uh, <laughs> I'm drop a link in chat so that everyone can check it out. Uh, I will. Uh, I will do that. Role He's... model extraordinaire. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but real quick, uh, a little tiny bit of housekeeping before we actually start uh, what we've been playing and watching, which we will keep short. I promise we'll keep the playing and watching section short today because we have news that I do want to talk about. Uh, right. But quick housekeeping. Um, we're going to start something a little new going forward Ooh. here on this show um, because of uh, some stuff that you guys might have heard. Um, we and some other folks have come into uh, a lot of video game codes. <laughs> Therefore... Uh, we're going to start doing some giveaways mm. for this show. Um, and the way we're going to go about that, uh, I, I personally think might be a little fun. But um, if you don't know already, every episode of The Sigma Show uh, gets a title. And that title is usually based on something that is said over the course of the actual episode. Um, so what I'm going to do is if, if folks in the chat who are watching this live can pick out what will be the, poss what will be the actual title that I pick... And send that to me in like a, a Twitter email or a, a, a Discord message or something. However you can get it to me. You send me your guesses for what the actual title would be. 
before I pick it, before like the podcast episode drops and you actually see what it is, you will win a code. Uh, in addition, um, anyone who is listening, so you can't participate live, you won't know what the name is before you know you actually get it on your podcast thing. Um, for that message, all you gotta do is find the show on the service that you uh, listen to, give it a rating. You don't have to give it five stars. Be honest, give, it me, give me honest feedback that I will take to heart. Uh, but just send me a Twitter message, a DM, wherever you can get it to me. Show me that you rated the show and you will be entered and I will randomly select someone who does that to get a code as well. So that's how I'm gonna be doing that going forward. Uh, so good luck to everyone. Uh, that's just gonna be a thing that happens from now going forward until I guess we run out of codes. You're just Joss Whedon, Queep. Is that what you did? That's just a thing I do now. I, is that I a thing Joss Whedon says? I do now. <laughs> no, that's what they always tear into him for. It's like, God, why does every trailer have that? Yeah, that's just something I do now. Fire I, came out <laughs> of my hands. That's just something I do now. <laughs> I had, I, I guess that's yeah. I guess that's a quip that they do say often, right? Maybe it's realer than we thought. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just uh, letting everyone see my cat over my shoulder, just. Just having fun in the Just background there. Again. Yeah, there you go. No. That's my that's my new kitty. That's I've had. I'm keeping her separate from my. Oh my god! I'm be, I'm ascending right now. <laughs> Although Ash, Ash is taking <laughs> the problems of hit Ricky. Ash, 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 make him stop. Ash, my voice man was my voice man was weird. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna lean away it. from the sun real quick because that's. I didn't know what she was doing before. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so with with that stuff out of the way, uh, real quick, we're gonna go. We're gonna start the show like we mm -hmm. tend to do with what we've been playing, what we've been watching. Um, but I'm I'm telling you now, I'm gonna cut you off <laughs> if you if you go heavy. So try to keep it short. This go around, right? First, I'll go first. Frost wants to go first. I have done it. nothing because <laughs> of everything that's happened. I have not watched a single show. I have not played a single game. I have done nothing. <laughs> I've taken walks. I've stretched. <laughs> I've done not, nothing entertaining me. I mean, so that's, sometimes you, you need a break I'm, from entertainment, but that's good. Yeah, you yeah, sure. Walk. That's great. Just, there we go. Yeah, it's just a break from entertainment. It's just a, a tumultuous <laughs> time is all, you know? So, Fair yeah, enough. that's my thing. <laughs> uh, all right. No Frost point. is out of the way. Ash with the hand raised. What, what you got for us, Ash? I'm sorry. My, my tism kicking in. I got a quick question. For, yes. Uh, for, yes, 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 yes. No, not for you. I'm not worried about you, Casey. I talked to you enough. Uh, for, for the new guest today. <laughs> so is your name Shadow Okami or is it like Shadow Okami? Yes, like Shadow. From, the from the character, like yes. the... Okay, sweet. Yes. I love you more now. All right, back, yes. back to what I've been doing. Uh, <laughs> back to what... Uh, let's see, what I've been watching. Uh, have I watched anything? Wow. Um, I don't know what I've been doing. What? Uh, you get been... fired too. <laughs> <laughs> if I say yes, will Casey take pity on me and let me fill out an application? Because if so, where do I where do I do that? Never this mind. Guy. We'll come back to that later. Um, <laughs> but no, uh, I've been watching sadly like a bunch of reality TV stuff with my wife because she gets the TV control at the end of the night and usually throughout the day as I work and come home I be a good dad and then i be a good husband also mm -hmm. my mom is staying with me so i have to take care of her right now also gotta be so a good i've been son. doing yes yeah, yeah. so i gotta be all of those things and then at the end of the night when it's like midnight i have to decide if i want to lose sleep and do something mm. for me or not so i've not been doing too much lately uh waste wasted money buying games that i knew i wouldn't have time to play because i'm addicted <laughs> um clearly at this point uh <laughs> but no i i did sneak in a few uh, a little bit of more beat, uh, Baldur's Gate 3 because I'm still in Act 1 taking 20 years just to get through there be not because of being sidetracked because I just don't have time and I played the first two missions of Modern Warfare 3's campaign to see why everybody hates it. Obviously I'm not going to get an idea from two missions. Actually I, I thought it was fine so I'm just like okay I don't know yet but eh, whatever. <laughs> the only reason I'm like mildly Surprises because Call of Duty traditionally always gets a decent score. So I'm actually very shocked to see IGN give it a four. Like I thought IGN was like obligated to give it at least a seven or higher for when it came to the campaign. So I was very surprised to see you it nosy four. like me, huh? You, you hear a ten out of ten, you're like, what y'all got over there? You hear like, <laughs> yeah, one out of ten? That's, that's what's going feeling, on yeah. here? What's going on? I don't. Let's go. I don't wake up for a seven out of ten. It's got to be on the streams. I'm like, There's so a I'm dead like, body like, over here. Where? <laughs> Where? Let me see. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so that's. That's all I did recently, so don't worry. Not too much time this time, Casey. All right, excellent work, Ash. I appreciate you. You're welcome. Uh, any, anybody else ready to uh, share with the class? I can't uh, go. Yeah, go right ahead. 
be pretty quick. Uh, sorry, Darren. Then uh, you can you can get, you can regale us all with your. I'll keep it short so you can you can talk as much as you want to. Um, so I, uh, in terms of playing, I've had I've had been playing a bunch of stuff to review it, like Dragon Gaiden, uh, Thirsty Suitors, which is actually really fun. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, so I, I'm trying to get as many hit as many of the games as I can because I'm trying to work on getting my. Uh, my year-end list together because I rank all the games I've played that year, not just like my top or bottom five and all that. So you. it's looking at around 80 plus games now. So, uh. <laughs> oh my God. anyway, um, and that's not even counting that I just played the separate ways DLC for Resident Evil four. Finally, I've been wanting to for a while, which I actually really, it's, it's redeeming this version of Ada Wong. In my opinion, Lily Gao's Ada Wong in the main game was kind of a, uh, you know, I think she got some really bad direction from the voice act from the voice directors, but uh, in this in the separate ways DLC, she is um, she's much more interesting to listen to. Like I'm I'm really I'm I'm vibing more with her sort of like mysterious spy lady vibe. And why is this happening with the sun right now? But um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just I'm just ascending in a nimbus of white light. I'm sorry for everybody who's having to see this on their screen. Um, anyway, yeah, he, Ash is like bringing me on up to heaven right now. Um, I anyway. wish you guys could see what the hell Ash did. <laughs> I really do. Valhalla, I am coming. Anyway, um, the other uh, the other thing I just finished uh, season two of Loki. Oh, nice! Yeah, that finale which, very recently, right? Yep. And so I won't be talking spoilers. So all I will say is that I have really enjoyed all the performances. Everybody's really put all of their work put put the work into this season, and I've been like the ironically the timeline feels like it's been jumping around a little bit like some things seem to happen without a whole lot of explanation but i've loved all the performances i've loved the art design i've loved the costume design i've loved um just even even the even little things that i don't necessarily always notice like the editing i really love the editing in this Mm, season so it's just yeah so i've been yeah i that's that's what i've been up to and i so i just watched the season finale last night so i have thoughts but i will keep them to myself for those of you who want to avoid spoilers Nice. Uh, I, I'm going to start that soon because I really did like Loki. That was probably my favorite of all those MCU shows when they all started dropping. Question. For somebody who hasn't been into anything Marvel, honestly, since the first Loki season, is this a good way to just hop back in and pick it up? Yeah, I would say so, definitely. Oh. There is a little bit of like, um, there's a character in the show who appears elsewhere in the Marvel universe. Okay. Um, and his his like introduction is not necessarily terribly well set up but i think it's done well enough that you get the gist of it for sure All right, cool so it's definitely worth seeing just for everybody's performances alone like uh sophie du martino she is just i i enjoy the fact that she's acting more like loki than loki is this season <laughs> so basically a giant disturber basically keeping it as pg as i can but <laughs> yeah uh so yeah that's my uh that, that's nice. my take on it so all right thank you for short. sharing rachel uh darren mm-hmm. what do you have for us what stuff you've been playing watching listening mm-hmm. to watching has been hard because everything i want to watch is those hour episode chunks of stuff and i'm just like time is hard so I'm yeah like, <laughs> recently watched the first episode of pluto on netflix um oh nice and very strong first episode and i've never read the manga or anything like that so i'm like okay i'm in just didn't expect hours so i'm like all right got to ded- dedicate time to that um but on the other side of things recently beat uh, miles morales and started uh, amazing spider-man 2 <clears throat> and so far love that miles is, is just a fun character to play as i love peter but having not played as peter since it originally came out back in 2018 i'm just like man miles is cool like just all the different yeah. powers he has is he he's, just gives him that extra flair. He he definitely seems a lot more fun and versatile that versus like basic Spider Man. But it seemed like, and I don't know because I haven't played it yet. It seemed like the symbiote stuff was supposed to kind of fix that for true. Peter. And I haven't gotten to the symbiote okay. stuff yet, right. so I'm like, for now, just base Peter with the spider claws. I'm like, this is cool, but we'll, gotcha. I'll see how that goes. And then also uh, just beat uh, Super Mario Wonder the other day as well. Oh, and sweet. That is a that is such a good Mario game. Like it's it's been a while. I I've played the past couple of 2D Mario's, but I think for me it's always been I've always been leaning more towards 3D um 3D Mario style of game. So mm-hmm. Super Mario Odyssey for me was one of my favorite Mario games in years. 
and now going over to this one and just the personality that all the characters all the environments once you hit a wonder flower like it's they they really use the word wonder in a good way because everything about the game is wonderful i, I like don't have many complaints about it um the way that you can switch up the badges to change just your different uh, movements, whether it be yeah, swimming cool swimming in the game in general, um, having the crouch jump, um, the flutter, all that. Like, different stages will definitely require different badges to be most optimal, but just the way you can mismatch and everything is it's fun. It, it's, it's a good game. Oh, man, did not mention the elephant. The hold on I you. I the elephant the in the elephant. room. I didn't I mention, mention the bubbles, the drill, like, none wow. of that. But the self control. Because <laughs> the elephant is my favorite power. Like you just because <laughs> overall, like you can pick things up, you can break stuff with your trunk, you can store water to cool off things that are on fire. Like it's the versatility of the new powers really stands out, and so it's kind of one of those like. I like the elephant, but I also like the drill because if you have the crouch jump and you jump, it'll make you drill up higher so you can um, hit a ceiling and stuff like that, too. Okay. The bubbles, you can pop them out and jump on them and use them as platforms real quick or capture enemies just in general. And then it gives you a coin for every uh, enemy you turn into um, or you put in the bubble. So, like, all of the powers have more than just one use. So I'm just like I'm not gonna highlight on that because they're all good. It's 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 a good game. Good Mario is good. Yeah, I, I've heard nothing but good things about Wonder. Uh, I've I've only played about two hours of it so far, so I haven't gotten very deep. But like even even as a first impression and like those first couple of hours, like it's just really cool what they do. Like with their like Wonder effects, it's like it's just like a a, a weird little celebration of just flipping Mario Absolutely. stuff on its head. Mm -hmm. which is a, a vibe I got a lot of in Odyssey when it would mix like the 2D stuff with the 3D. Yeah. Like and... I really, really love that. And Wonder feels like it's kind of taking that energy and putting it in just a full on 2D game. It is. Cause like once you hit the Wonder Flower, like anything can happen in the stage. And I think that's the most exciting part when you're just stage per stage. It's like, if you get to out the whole stage and you get to the flag, and you don't find that middle uh, wonder seed where it changes the level entirely. You're mm -hmm. just like, what did I do? Where did I miss? <laughs> because the weird stuff has not happened yet. Yeah, you're so, doing it wrong in that case. Exactly. So sometimes it'll turn you into a top down perspective. Like um, like when you hit the Sonic minigame and you have to collect the balls. Like sometimes you'll go into that. Sometimes like you've seen in the trailer, like everything will stretch out. And so now you have to navigate in that weird sense um sometimes there's a bunch of enemies will uh, roll through and you have to either dodge them or work alongside them or sometimes mario will just transform into whatever just to fit the stage so it's it's weird but i, I enjoyed that game good mario game I, I i'll put it this way i wasn't expecting to come out of playing this game with such high expectations because at the end mm -hmm. of the day my thoughts was like Mario's gonna Mario, and I'm gonna be happy about it. But I didn't expect to be this happy. I'll put it that way. Right, a pleasant surprise, indeed. <laughs> yeah. All right. Does, is that uh? Nope. Oh. That's all you have to share. Yes. Um. That's that's been the main of it. I need to get back to Spider Man too. We get these <laughs> game awards. Um. Yeah, that's coming up. Soon. Nominee is coming out next week, and then I'll. Me and the boys are going to go out. The, um. Are going to be going to the game awards too. So now I got to get the fit together. So. Oh, you know, nice. Dressed. Darren, to impress, you know. I'm, Darren, I'm kind of curious to get your opinion about this since you uh, since you played both for Spider Man and Miles Morales. Yeah. I I I wrote a whole article about this way back in the day, but my opinion is that Miles, one of the reasons Miles is just a better protagonist for the games than Peter, he has an actual supporting cast. Absolutely. Like uh, like Peter has MJ and Aunt May for however brief uh -huh. a time, but you know he doesn't really sit down and talk to them and hang out with them. And I, cause I said the first game, he has a closer relationship with his villains than he does with Mary Jane. Yeah. And they try and uh, this, and in Miles Morales, he has his best friend. He has his mom. He has a, you know, a love interest. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I just thought that's one of the reasons he was more, more compelling as a character is just that he has people he can sit down and talk to. And he's more, I mean, he, even just people in his neighborhood, he just, you know, he goes, he can go into a bodega and talk to the guy behind the counter. Yeah. He know and they know each other by name and yeah of course there's also spider-man the cat but you know just generally miles has a uh, you know just he's connected he's got you mm -hmm. know he's got more people to talk to than peter does 
I think what <clears throat> what makes Miles Morales so impressive is that even though like if you just mainline that game, don't do any side stuff or any of the fun Spider-Man things that make you want to play Spider-Man, is like that game is maybe four five hours tops if that. And but doing all those things as Miles in Harlem, like you said, it it builds up not just Miles as a character, but the community that he's a part of. Mm-hmm. And we don't get a chance to see that with Peter because he is he's seasoned. He's been doing this for a while. He's not he's not lower level Peter Parker, Spider-Man. She was trying to figure things out, trying to help everybody. Miles is still figuring this out. But he's also you see how big he is with his community in general. It's like, OK, I moved here, but this is my home and I'm mm-hmm. going to treat it like my home. And I, I Peter's guess, over yeah. here like, yeah, New York, dog. I got all of you. So it's harder <laughs> to spread the love sure. with all of New York as compared to pocket size um, uh, Harlem. But it's I don't know if it was on purpose or not, but with that sense of community and character growth that they that they give you with Miles compared to, like I said, you we all know who Peter Parker is, regardless of what style of peter parker the story is giving us we all know peter parker miles still at the end of the day is relatively new being popularized and they Mm -hmm. want to highlight hey this is this is spider-man not your typical not your spider-man you're used to but this is still spider-man let's recognize that and i just love the fact that they both just bounce off each other hey spider-man hey spider-man it's like they (laughs) know that there's literally no difference to doesn't matter what anybody says it's like hey that's spider-man shut up (laughs) it's true it's true i mean even peter you know would come out and say like he he, he's not like saying miles should be anything else it's like no this is spider-man he's also spider-man i we are both spider-man and they do the they even do the whole pointing at each other meme (laughs) (laughs) Love it. I just, I just want to throw in there real quick that mm-hmm. the real reason that Miles is more fun to play as is because he has the exaggerated swagger of a black teen. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to avoid it this whole time. No. I was trying to avoid. We just like, amongst we all company. know the reason. You can't, you can't av- uh, just avoid that. That's the. We that's all the know the reason. <laughs> and now with that being said, swagger. it's just it's Spider Man and then with a little seasoning on it. That's it. <laughs> and now here's my one, my one thing, my one complaint about Miles with Spider Man Two. He's still 17. How his hair grow out that fast? All my boys are saying he got extensions. It's a weave. I'm like, shut up. Shut up. I'm upset. I'm mad. This is the same year at Miles Morales. He did not go from that crispy fade to type three haircut. Okay? No. <laughs> like first a type three haircut. No. Okay? It is, how did, how did it this is twist suspect. get out that long, that fast? That's all I'm saying. That's the only, my, my one complaint. It's just like. Fair enough. They didn't, uh, the, maybe the devs didn't know. They, they, they uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't know. I, think it's they, they didn't. I, I doubt it. Yeah. <laughs> Time. I had to look. I'm just like, wait, he's still 17. Hold on. <laughs> I started doing research on how old he was throughout the games, and I'm like, no, 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 something's wrong here. <laughs> Nine out of ten game him. <laughs> King said, is that one of his unsaid superpowers? Probably. <laughs> that explains it. It's that real blood. <laughs> uh, but okay, to, to, to wrap this section up, um, I'll real quick go over like what I've been watching and playing and whatnot. Um, I'm gonna time you. I, because of recent events, uh, I had a little free time and I actually went back to Armored Core 6, which is a game that I was absolutely in love with, but did not have time to finish. Um, I was stuck on the Sea Spider, who is like, I think like, Uh, mm -hmm. still like an early-ish boss. But since then, since then that game has updated and like they've buffed, I think a bunch of like player weapons and nerfed a couple of things for the enemies. Mm. And that fight was um, noticeably easier. Like to the point where I think it was a like I, I honestly was a little disappointed in how much easier the fight was. Like the the move sets and stuff didn't really seem to change, but the amount of damage I would do was like tripled. It? Like with anything, like all the like I didn't change oh, my loadout man. at all. Like whatever I was fighting it with before I took my break was the same stuff I was fighting it with as soon as I came back. But like I was very clearly doing way more damage than I ever did because it was it only took me like two attempts. That's why I always leave those kinds of things in offline mode. Cause I like, <laughs> we'll, we'll all give me my thing of like, you know, Frost is a bit, he abuses from software as much as they abuse him, but yeah. I still take him on with like, what you got at the start, you know, mm-hmm, like that right. game is still, it's still on my other PC <clears throat> offline mode. I'm like, no, I'll get back to you. But once I beat you, uh, I'll give it another run and be like, all right, what are these baby buffs doing? Yeah, like, what, what's, what's the right. difference now? Yeah. So I mean, that, that was a little disappointed, honestly, because you you guys know me. I, I'm a glutton for punishment in those games. Um, 
but it was still fun. Like nonetheless, it's like I'm, I'm still in love with just the feel of uh, the mechs and whatnot. Um, like the and, movement. Yeah, and yeah. I and that fight I think unlocks like the multiplayer stuff, like the actual like PvP stuff. Yes. Yeah. So I'm I may try to get into that if I if I have a little bit more time throughout the week. I just want just to you see know. how that's like. I you gonna see the wheelchair the meta real quick? <laughs> the wheelchair yeah. meta was all the tanks all meta. the time. Yeah, it's all tanks. Yeah. <laughs> see, I tried going in like that. No, they're they're fast online. Mm -mm. They, they, they? They, oh, right. they speedy. Like I think I've done maybe two or three matches just to dip my toe in to see what these demons are like, and I was like, "Oh, y'all move fast. Gun tank can't hit you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, but outside of that, um, I, I've also been watching Pluto. Uh, I'm I think I only have a single episode left. Um, I'm I was way I am way into it's like detective uh premise of like there's a mystery here the world is super interesting like uh, dealing with like uh you know AI and like robots that have equal rights to humans and like the tension that that brings is a really really interesting world uh but I I do have to admit um that show is beautifully drawn but it has almost no action in it and like I kind mm -hmm. of wanted that like not to say that it needed it, but I definitely wanted it, and I kind of expected it, especially with the premise of like these super powerful uh, war robot. Well, they used to be war robots. Now they're kind of doing their best to like uh, help mankind in different ways. Yeah. But something is hunting them. Something's trying to kill them. And every time there's a fight, it happens in like a, a cloud or a vacuum or off screen, and like you only mm. see the aftermath of something like you know falling apart or being wrecked or like yeah. they they don't want to animate fighting at all. And they don't. This? <laughs> this is a um, oh, Pluto. No, uh, Naoki Urasawa is the manga code with it. I don't think that he does action like that in general, though. Like mm -hmm. the majority of it works monster. Uh, yeah, I remember monster, 20th monster century really boys. Good. It's like oh, okay. it's typically more more mystery, like <clears throat> mind games type things, more interpersonal mm -hmm. with characters. So it's like action happens, but it's not like ever the focus. It is the characters and the stories that they're building, and, and that's fair. Like it's just, yeah, it's, I was here like I'll save a dollar, bro. I ain't animating this. Like you get to see the corpses <laughs> after the fact. Yeah, you can only assume that it, like, damn, big samurais. You know, like, <laughs> like um, I think the recent uh the recent manga that they're working on um Asadora um been reading that and about planes for the most part, like characters and um wanting to build planes and be in that industry and everything, but on the offset of things giant kaiju monster in background <laughs> and it's, but that's like the like least of everything that's going on but that's the, like the main focus for me i'm like but what about that no no we gonna talk about these planes i really want to grow up to to make these i'm like all right but uh wait okay I'm like, right, we'll, we'll get there but don't don't worry about him right now he's chilling mm -hmm. uh but yeah so uh I, i'm looking forward to moving on from pluto honestly so i can get the blue-eyed mm. samurai which looks like it is doing the action that i'm craving from pluto like that that has like uh i've seen like some behind the scenes stuff with like the motion capture and like the fight scenes in that look in uh, incredible already from what i've seen so like i'm really hyped to jump into that um but outside of that uh i finished watching the fall of the house of usher which was like a big Ooh, uh netflix series the that. the newest mike flanagan joint um and it's it's a really good show um like it's it has so many really good performances from the cast and like that cast keeps getting brought forward uh through all of mike flanagan's shows so we already know they're great but like some of them in particular really get to just act their ass off in really fun ways and like i really loved watching that um but also um i do think the the scent because this show is also it's not so much scary which i'm not a fan of anyway so i i this is a plus for me. It's not very much scary. It's more so like kind of a weird macabre mystery type thing. It's based on, you know, like the works of it's Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but with that being said, as interesting as I find the premise and the, the performances and whatnot, the story does kind of fall apart the more you learn about what's actually happening. And like by the end of it, um, it's still fun to see how it concludes, but like the big reveal as to, oh, this is what has been happening the whole time is for me at least a little disappointing. Like, oh, this isn't as mm. cool as I thought they were going with this. But um, over, overall, I still liked it quite a bit. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's all I got. So with that, we can move on yeah. to our first topic, Legend of Zelda. Miyamoto himself jumped on Twitter <laughs> to say, hey, we are working on this thing. I have uh, Avi Arad is the 
producer yep. alongside him. Um, they're working with Sony Productions as well. So uh, Sony's oh. going to be footing half the bill to make this oh. actual movie. Um, and I just want to get you guys' <laughs> initial reactions to this news. Because this is something that has been floating around. Like maybe it would have been uh, animated because of the Illumination stuff. There were rumors going around about that. Someone from Nintendo was like, no, not happening. Mm. But now we have confirmation. Live action Zelda. Are you excited? Are you worried? How are you feeling? A little bit of both. A both. little bit of both. <laughs> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna let Ash do like the majority of the talking here, but I'm like, but my my first thought is, you know, there's a there's a there is a good movie to be had here. I think mm-hmm. in most in most ideas, there is a good movie that can come out of it. My fear is that they won't find it for whatever reason. Because mm-hmm. they need to hit the Latinos. <laughs> Mario pulled through because he got the Mexicans. We ain't got that kind of fondness for Link. Cause, <laughs> like uh, that was back in the times where there was no localization kind of stuff, and even if there was, uh, we were too stubborn to turn it on. So Kirby, Sonic, Mario, sure, uh, icons of the big Nintendo era. I even had a big old script where I was just like, Link can't happen without the Mexicans. Uh, just a, a lot of a lot of those big uh, game movie type deals. Uh-huh. They almost lean more into the international, the, like the the necessitation and it's necessary to have that international audience to make it through in the end but the ones that wouldn't strike with say japan or china would be pulled through heavily through latin american countries and america right now is around um since the last census is about 50 percent hispanic like that number is huge so not, tapping into the latino market is international and it's your own market too to begin with like Super, super close in that sense. So, so I, I mean, we ain't got that kind of fondness for Link, though. <laughs> I mean, it's interesting you say that because, like, the Legend of Zelda series in general hasn't really been, like, a heavy hitter in terms of, like, sales for Nintendo until, like, Breath of the Wild, really, right? Like, it's it's always done well. It's always been very popular. But it, it's never been, like, this is... That was a blockbuster. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's never like, been it, the money it, maker. For exactly. Sure. Like, it reached blockbuster status very recently. So... I know you're saying like there's not a big nostalgia pull with like the Latino community and whatnot, but that could be the same for a lot of other communities as well. So like it, it might not be just isolated to them, but now that it has reached that blockbuster status and it's coming off the heels of Mario, do you think just the Nintendo name and brand could help inch that along? Nah, because if you show up and you're like, all right, there's a bit of nostalgia, but a newfound status and it's actually dog, like the nah. That's going to spread real quick with Mario. Because even, even those of us who, because, I mean, I, I enjoyed it better just going like, it's a pastiche. It's not like a crazy film in itself, but it mm-hmm. is a great experience to behold. Mm-hmm. You might, like, if that's not there, at, the, at least for, for Link, it's like, all right, yeah, don't bother. That's that's going to that's gonna get through real quick. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. So, so I'm, you're saying, I'm, it, I'm, so you're saying if, it's, if it does come out and it's bad, it, has, it cannot replicate no what chance. Mario did. Okay. No chance. Let's just assume. Let's let's just, <laughs> just say. Let's just assume it comes out that, and is let's bad. Let's just assume Mario is bad. Let's just say that right now. <laughs> all the rotten tomatoes, all the all the ripe <clears throat> pineapples, all of them are like Mario's bad. But it adds so much to make up for itself because nostalgia, the pastiche, it's just super dynamic, all that kind of stuff, right? Let's just say it makes up for itself in that sense. It had mm-hmm. enough flair on its own to yeah, still exactly. be considered. I feel like this is still a spectacle. Yeah, good, so, but it's spectacle. so if Link is, is bad, does it, can it be a, its own pastiche? Can it draw in that same sort of way that like gets the little kids going, whoa, and grandma's like, whoa, what's going on here? You know, I, I don't know. It's hard I feel to like say. Mario's got a lot more to make up for it. It didn't have to be a banger. You know, I feel like Link's got to. I, I like the Link movie. If it does well, will actually be better of a of a better movie than Mario. If it does well, like if it doesn't, be- better, I don't know if it can spectacle. When you say better, you mean like quality wise, narrative wise, like narrative narrative wise. Okay, It'll be, yeah. right, because there's there's definitely more of a story, even though it's still kind of yeah, it's going to really have to are, pop off of that okay. story. Yeah, I'm just saying. I'm just saying I wish I know she doesn't have a, a feature length credit to her name, but I wish we could have let Zelda Williams direct this. Oh, oh that would be so nice. Oh. That the amount of goodwill that you're you're yeah. that's one piece uh uh propaganda at this but point. Can, but like you can pull the fans along by just choking them with goodwill. 
<laughs> I don't I know. Mean, I don't know about this though. It's like, yo, the next Fast and Furious movie should be done by John Fast himself, like, <laughs> like, like by Paul Paul Walker's brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, like, would, that not, would, would that not be such a great tribute to her dad? It would. would yeah, her her big, be, yeah, yeah. But he, he, was but he hated. Like he hated that kind of stuff though. Where it's like you're just drawing my name out for the clout. He, he was the but first, but, but like, get off my her... dick for clout. <laughs> yeah, but it wouldn't be that. It would be giving it would be his daughter actually do like directing a feature film. And I'm like, I like Zelda Williams, so I think. But has she ever directed a feature film? I've played a video game I mean, with her in she it, has a and I was film like, coming out. Oh, okay. If yeah, that does I mean, well, then yeah, have at it. That's why but I'm it. saying, like, I wish we could have. I wish that could have been the thing that happened. But I understand that. Yeah. But then mm-hmm. again, the person they have directing has three Maze Runner films to his name, and that's about it. Oh baby, yeah. Let me let me let me let me chime in real quick. Hold on, but before you start up, oh, okay, Ash, ahead. I just want to because many many of you in chat has a really interesting question. It says I also feel uh, that live action adaptations can be judged harder than animated ones. Uh, so would Mario have worked as well in live action? We have a proof of concept for that. No. <laughs> oh, I feel like that's that well, is unfair. Well, yes, but also no. <laughs> it exists. It is yes, a thing it that does. exists. But that was never like the people who made that movie had no intention of actually making a Mario movie. They made uh, yeah, a that movie was a different time. that had Mario yeah. IP stuff in it, but that was not their intention. Uh, and and, and I, am, I am the person who says that all movies should be animated. Like animated is just better than live action in my opinion. Agreed. But I still feel like that movie did not get a fair shake. <clears throat> so like, that's hard to say. Um, oh, so Nick mm-hmm. Link Latino, there you go. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Those is like, yo, what's up, my Haina in Hyrule, my Hyrule Haina? <laughs> Hell yeah! Uh, I watch it. Just because of that now. I'd Absolutely, I'd Link there. is a cholo now. I'm in crash. Would, oh my, oh god. my god, Link is a cholo would be amazing. Absolutely, oh. that's oh, pretty no, funny. My brain's going down a path. Um, All right. So yeah, go ahead, Ash. I know, I know, you've been I, keeping I, the bottom I'm up. Not, no, it's okay. I'm not going all in yet. I just wanted to point out one quick thing. Okay, as as, as was just mentioned about the uh, the director, right? This has, what, Maze Runner, and um, I think he was a part of something else. Was he part of one of the Planet of the Apes movies? Uh, he's doing the newest one coming. Okay, that's what it was. Okay. So, I mean, he should stop doing that. He should only focus on Zelda. What is he doing? All right, never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I, I uh, discovered that he had a tweet from way, way back when, in 2010, 2010, this man tweeted, I'm gonna drop it in there for uh, in the chat so you guys can see the actual tweet. He legit said, "Since I could never even hope to have the chance to direct it, the next big mocap Avatar-like movie should be The Legend of Zelda." This man said that in 2010. I now believe this live action is gonna be an Avatar-like movie, <laughs> just because he is the oh. director and that was his actual thought 13 years ago. Yes, it could change. Don't get me wrong. He's like, I'm make it stupid. Skyward Sword, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm not crazy. That's interesting. But, Hmm. He literally said a long time ago, I could never even hope to have the chance to direct it, but the next big mocap, if he still has any remnants of that feeling left, Hmm. I'm now almost wondering if that's where they're going. When they say live action, they mean more like an avatar type situation, which I might like. They're they're not going to have like... Ganondorf makeup and all that nonsense. Like, hey, no. hey, bless you. They could, they could, they could flop heavy. Okay, <laughs> I'm with. Like, I'm with did with anyone Rachel. else? They could flop heavy, but like, I just hope they don't. Like when I say live action, I was thinking just whatever Disney's calling live action nowadays. You know what I mean? Like oh, how God. CG, yeah. but with yeah, familiar yeah. faces slash voices. Yeah, that kind of stuff. I, I know when they first said it. A voice. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm... I, I I fully think they will give him a voice. <laughs> mm-hmm. I hope it's like Keith Urban and he doesn't talk. <laughs> I, I I don't mind if they give him a voice. I just don't know if he should <clears throat> talk a lot. I don't know if he should like be consistently talking. He's gonna, he's gonna <laughs> be quiet the whole time, and then the big no, climax is him going. Yeah! <laughs> right, like someone, someone's got to nail those ad libs, <clears throat> though, right? Like they need to just get the regular <laughs> voice actor. <laughs> who does that and just let them no, at least do that part the, <laughs> yeah the i should not do that no 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 not for the whole film just for the yeah all that stuff just let them do that oh they'll be in the movie for sure i i do think there is merit in because there there have been films where you know the protagonist doesn't speak where you know there's no dialogue for vast brushes vast stretches of the movie and honestly if you were willing to commit to the bit if someone was like if you had a director of wes is seriously committed to the bit that. 
yeah, he could get, if you get a good enough actor, and I'm of the opinion Link should be played by an up-and-comer, not a familiar face, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. if you get somebody who's really good, you could do somebody, you could have somebody who is, you know, a, you know, you could have a great adventure movie with a protagonist who doesn't speak. It, yeah. could, it could be done. It could Mad be Max, done. I really think it know, could. I think, I An think atmospheric think adventure where the side characters are the ones really kind of laying things out. Yeah, they, where yeah, they if, if they nail and. an atmospheric bit to it, yeah. Does Link have good side I, characters? I, mean, I, I don't know. Link, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, 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 to be honest, yeah, like the one the of the Hyrule. main things for Link is yeah, the side characters for him. Okay, yeah, yeah there are a lot of. I just know little not That's probably not what you want to hear the whole time, but yeah. So I I I would love it if they filmed on location. If they had like actual like outdoor like wilderness shoots mm. with link i mean i know that's expensive and it's probably not going to happen because like you said everybody relies on cgi these days but it would be pretty cool hey Wanna... sony got half the bill sony got half the bill you know it's yeah. dangerous so like, hey sony it's... paying some of it you know what i'm saying yeah. they might they might be willing i don't know what the budget is <laughs> yeah i mean sony and nintendo are splitting this so yeah they maybe they will put up big money especially coming off of mario i feel like they have it in their heads that this is the next big thing mm -hmm. so like yes they'll put in the money i guess to to hopefully recoup that because that's that's how those sorts of things were i don't think they'll they'll try to like skimp on it mm -hmm. but that being said um it's hard to it's hard to guess who they're going to appeal to because the way you guys are all describing what you want from this sounds like a, mm -hmm. a much more adult aimed thing like like in your yeah, heads when you see yeah. this movie are you yeah. thinking of an adult link because i'm thinking of a kid like we're gonna need a kid actor at some point right it's like spongebob you know where it's like is that a kid is that an adult yeah yeah cast somebody who looks young put it that way but if you mean like as somebody who reads as a kid yeah i could definitely see that no, I, I, what i'm saying is i don't think there's going to be a single link like at the very least we're going to have a child link and then we'll also have yeah. an adult because if, if anything toon link. a tune link <laughs> no i think they're going to adapt um uh what do you call it ocarina, ocarina of time yeah i think that yeah. is the story that they're going to mm. use as the basis and that story is half a child story <sighs> yeah so like i think we'll get two links in whatever this thing is excuse me so what's but, the what's is, the lore behind shadow link what is, is that just a smash Shadow thing? Link? Is that just no, his it's, cosmetics? It's the thing that's in Twilight Princess. Yeah, that, that shows up a couple of times. Twilight Princess, yeah. Ocarina. Ocarina yeah, yeah, it's yeah, around. I feel like because that's the most like director easy thing to do. It's just like a fight with the self. That's who the obvious rod you. parts. I mean, because that's all it was in Ocarina of Time. It's like, <laughs> the here's the reflection stuff. as you walk through that pool yeah. area. And then that's the reflection that you had to defeat overcoming your own yeah so if you're going for kids stuff. it's always that it's like overcoming yourself have confidence in you if you're gonna go for kid link i was like i don't know shadow I mean, link was part of that force but... of courage that's that's the that's the whole thing i don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and like lampy is saying in chat um link has been depicted as a kid more often than an adult so like there's a chance that this yeah. could just be a movie about a kid and not mm. a movie that has an adult mm. version of link like because nah, Mi miyamoto I... has uh He's a producer in this. He has some sort of creative control and like what so like he could basically be like, No, this is the link that I want. And like mm, maybe folks will try to talk him down. Cause cause I know how Hollywood is. Hollywood's like, no, make it a man, give him a beard. Uh old link. <laughs> Nintendo link. Old link. See, <laughs> see, I was thinking that too, because I'm like, most of these link fans are gonna be like, you know, getting in their thirties and forties. Yeah, like, you make don't it want to kid link. Because then, yeah. then they're just like, damn, I missed out. I could have been link. You know? <laughs> but if well, it's like a fifty year old link, it's like, yeah, that'll be me. <laughs> No, that, that's why I was thinking, you know, you could make it, I, I'm, 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 put it this way, I'm still saying it can be like a kind of a grand adventure movie, you know, and still have kid appeal, if you know mm -hmm. what I mean. Sure, yeah. In, yeah. Fact, in fact, I think we're overdue for like a, a good, uh, you know, slightly corny adventure movie aimed at children. Just Orlando Bloom again. Is that what it would be? <laughs> yeah, from Legolas to older Link. You know. <laughs> Or or, if the, or the James Bond thing where Link is just a, a name given to the adventurer. <laughs> right, just go oh full God. Lord of the Rings. Just be like, look at these giant sweeping shots of adventure. Hell yeah. There so I, I'm also wondering, do you think anyone that they're doing, like, just going to retell or reimagine already established from one of the games? Or is it going to be a fully brand new Link's and new story of Hyrule? Like, I think fully... there's going to be, like, sprinkles Maybe some of like thing, two or... or three different ones yeah i think they make their own thing kind of like uh i mean like the warcraft movie tr tried to stick to the to the big beats right uh but i think they'll just like eh, do, do our own thing 
couple of you know, twists Mario, there. technically, like, technically whole new thing, right? Mm -hmm. And then we got, yeah. uh, but I was like, I don't know if they're like, oh, we need to make it go go for the heavy hitters. Either do Ocarina of Time or do one of the, either Breath of the Wild or Tears of Kingdom for uh, relevancy. Yeah, you know, I think that's it, always a big thing. They always want to do relevance, uh, relevant stuff. I no think it, what, it makes sense like, for them to touch on a bunch of things. I, I do think the skeleton will be Ocarina of Time, but like, yeah, mm -hmm. like, so, Sony did this with uh, the Uncharted movie. Like they took the the big action set, set piece from like three, and then the other thing from the other game, and like mixed characters from other. Like they'll just take a mishmash, but like this all works as one story here, and then they'll go from there. So like that Dude, makes a lot of sense. Dude, do you think? Do you think Miyamoto is taking script treatments because I could write up a damn good one right now? <laughs> or just just <laughs> based send on it to him. based on uh, based on this like conversation. Right. I got yeah. one. It's taken, but in Hyrule. Who gets, who I mean, taken? technically, Zelda. Zelda? <laughs> technically, <laughs> that's Legend Zelda in its entirety. Like, that's hey, what hey. it has benefit though. No, she didn't get taken until the end of Ocarina of Time. Okay, so that doesn't. <laughs> that's the skeleton. Like right, this movie is she gonna piss taken. Ash off. I I see it now. He's gonna be I, like, that I didn't happen so like that. This character should that... look like this. No, no, no. I am very open. It just has to be good. And when I say good, I mean like. I need to feel the, the 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 idea of Zelda adventure, like what makes a Ze Legend of Zelda adventure. Give me that in a movie format. And as long as things are relevant enough to the original IP, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. As mm -hmm. long as it's, you know, like, that's that, like that's why I like the Mario movie, just because I felt like they really, even though it's a new story, you could tell like there was some care into the IP. As long as I feel like you care about the IP. I don't care what you do. <laughs> yeah, if as it's if it's too close, it draws comparison. No, 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 no. Yeah. don't don't sure. step on that, please. Yeah. As long <laughs> as you too... care, I don't care. And it's just the producer, like, like <laughs> you know, like Nintendo's directly involved again. They're not gonna let anybody just be like full front. Yeah, you go ahead, have fun with it. They they barely ever do that, if at Miyamoto all. Miyamoto <laughs> is gonna is on no. that. You yeah. know, he's laser focused. He, like, he, what is maybe it? it's him? I'm Link. <laughs> <laughs> he comes out with the Wii remote and, and the shield again, like he yeah. uh, uh, Skyward Sword. Is um I forget. So I know Miyamoto's is um Al Numa a part of it at all? I mean, he's technically been the one directing. Mm. Doesn't the games for I have not anyway. seen his name show up anywhere. He hasn't popped no. up yet. Mm. He's probably too it's busy. Just been that Miyamoto message game. of like movie. <laughs> yeah. If if anything, Miyamoto's like Al Numa. You can't be a part of this. You make next game. Get back in there. Make another game. I have this. <laughs> It's my idea originally anyway. I got it. I'm like, that's fair. <laughs> that's fair. Miyamoto movies. I, 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 I'm, I don't, like, Miyamoto was involved with the original Mario movie, not the original Mario movie, but this newer yeah. Mario movie as well, right? Yeah. Um, and he, if he okayed everything that happened with that, it seems like, I mean, and we know this already, Miyamoto's not a movie guy. Yeah. <laughs> like the stuff, I'm, uh, the stuff I'm assuming he's okaying is like, oh, that looks like the character that looks like the location. Uh, like, this sounds that like, feels you know what like I mean? the character. Yeah. So the care to the IP. As long as mm -hmm. Miyamoto's like, this is still Zelda. I'm sure I'll I'll be all right with whatever they come up with. I feel like as it works as with as Kojima. He's not a gaming guy. I mean, he makes baller games. <laughs> His games are movies. He's a movie guy. What's he <laughs> saying? Ninety percent. Ninety percent of me is cinema or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said something like that along those lines. Yeah. Ten percent for games. Damn, bro. <laughs> That's impressive. Banger I let, I let the game devs make the game. I just tell them what should happen, and oh. they make it. They make it happen. I mean, sometimes me. that nice. works. So, uh, Yokina Cat yeah. in chat says, "If he isn't breaking rupees out of clay pots, the whole movie is going to be a bust." <laughs> I mean, yes, Darren, how do you feel about that? <laughs> See, like At Mario point, got away poor. with that, you know? <laughs> he's poor. <laughs> See, he the starts out with no rupees. He, he orphaned in, in almost every game. <laughs> you know, he, he orphaned. No rupees found. <laughs> no rupees. Down bad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so he, he grew up in... If, go, if, we, if Ocarina ties a skeleton, he in a forest. What I really need rupees for? I'm just chilling in the forest. What does he eat? I never know. They never talk about that, but that's not important. He drink hella uh, milk. What you talking about? Hella milk. You're right. He just drinks hella milk. milk. <laughs> hella milk. Not, Sorry, Sorry my... Mike. Really, not really, but just hella milk. That's the Sorry, my, name, by the way. I didn't mean to distract anyone. My cat came up and wanted to say hello. Oh, and I had to like grab her because she's very clumsy and she was going to fall all over the keyboard. Good that cat going to lose oh, all thanks. nine lives way too fast at the rate. <laughs> clumsy cat is not a good combo. Um, all right. Uh, so any any other uh, 
points to bring up in regards to this movie. Any other worries? Any other concerns? Any I'll be there day one wishes? even if the trailer looks trash. Even if That's the trailer looks trash? Even if the trailer looks trash, I'll be there day one. Because I need to see it. Uh, I don't, Ash is a, a, a super it. fan, but you're also part of the Ash wants to see a body, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the body. Ash is a looky loo. I want to see how they did my boy Link bad. <laughs> I'm going to go in and see it. He's like, I could have been a better Link. <laughs> I'm going to propose an idea. Oh. Mm -hmm. Link, silent protagonist. Zelda provides, not is she's in the movie, obviously, in her inner physical self. But for the Link portions of the film, she also provides voiceover commentary. So, like, keeping the spirit of, like, Navi, but, like, not actually have, trying to put Navi in the film. So you're saying no traveling companion at all? Not just Navi, but any of them? What if they just use any other traveling companion maybe for the no i'm not saying no traveling companion i'm oh, just no, saying no, like no. to make up for a link being a silent protagonist give zelda a bigger role yeah, zelda more of a narrate uh narrate yeah figure and you can have them have like two separate storylines happening at the same time mm -hmm. that's not bad so wait and yeah, like link's going on his grand adventure zelda is dealing with like the political intrigue and hyrule how does he get his sword and shield which in the film <laughs> no, in general, like, I don't okay. know. I played the first, like some, the first Zelda, and he somebody just lets him know, right? like, hey, there's a sword somewhere that's like really strong. It's gonna help you with exactly the thing you're trying to do. Go get it. Go get lost. I almost feel it. like that would just be the thing. The whole thing is like being able to get to this sword and this shield. But if it's not that amazing, that's usually like the first third, though, like. Most of the time, like, I played the first, the first Zelda. Game. He just walks into a cave and it's like, "Here you go." <laughs> <laughs> it's dangerous to go like alone. The, that's not this. that's a sword. That's not the sword. Yeah, that's not the sword. It's oh, a sword. Yeah, yeah, maybe it's just his journey to getting the gear. The Master Sword. Yeah, that'd yeah. be a, that would be that would be a good subheading. Legend of Zelda: The Master Sword. Boom! It's your little kids trying to you know yeah. do big boy things. It's, it's, it's a big quest. Boy, big girl. The it, it, we need a quest movie. <laughs> yeah, 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 it's been a while. Yeah, it has been a while. What would the fit be? Would it be the classic green? It, it's got to be. Classic see, I feel like yes. I think I think it's they might want to feel the early blockbuster status. Like they see, changed it with Breath of the Wild. It wouldn't be right. It yeah. wouldn't be. The classic I feel like it is like about earning his stripes, though. I think they'll like he, by the end of it, it'll be the link you know. But at the start, it's I like, like that. No, that's like that's basically superhero movie formula. That is exactly what they did with the. That's exactly what they did with the last Tomb Raider movie. Like in the trailer, they should. There's a like one scene that they show in the trailer, and it's Lara Croft. Well, Alicia Vikander as Lara Croft with the braid, wearing a tank top, holding up two H and K pistols. And I'm like, okay, that's gonna be the last. That's last scene of the movie because that's gonna be like, okay, now she's game, Lara. I was right, so mm -hmm. yeah. I can yeah, see that happening Mario. for sure. I can see the sweeping shot of him with the just whatever, but with the. The master sword and the Hylian shield sweeping around as you first see him with the green. I could, I could see the shot. Just it could him. work. It could work. Or it's like, if they make it or, impactful enough, it's or it's a one-off and it's just it. like his PJs for a bit. But, I mean, if we're gonna <laughs> like, make this is impractical. He got that lobster Wind shirt on like the whole yeah. Yeah. Wind Wind movie. He was in his PJs basically. <laughs> I, I'm just, I'm saying that the only way this film can work, I think, and be live action Zelda movie, good for kids, it has to be made with absolute sincerity mm -hmm. and heart there can be none of this bullshit joss i'm sorry i'm sorry about my language day there can be none of this bs yeah. joss whedon-y like oh you know we're so quippy you know look how fourth wall breaking we are and look right. how we're you know drawing attention to like mm, the deficiencies of this medium like no 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 it has to be this has to be nothing but sincerity and commitment to the bit that no so. I, I agree with that a lot and well, Nintendo I, does. Yeah. I, was, bro, I was just about to say, sprinkle the Nintendo magic in there. That's all, yeah. that's what it needs. <laughs> the fact that it's live action, though, makes that so much harder. Because I feel like yeah. there's yeah. going to be so many money people that says this needs to change because of this focus group and blah, blah. Like the fact that Link wears that, that goofy green hat and they have the option to not have him wear it. I feel like they'll be like, take the hat off his head. It looks dumb. <laughs> like you have a model of the character where he just doesn't wear it. Right. So use that. And then that's going to be yeah. like maybe the first sort of disappointment to fans who are like, oh, I want to see this thing I grew up with, like, realized in real life. But I don't know. It, I mean, maybe maybe they'll, maybe um, Avi Arad does have that reverence as well. Like, maybe he grew up playing those games and he'll, he'll maybe fight to make it more authentic in that way. Well, it is going to be like a weird uh, 
difference from what because like you know you see something like the last of us in live action well that game was basically made to be it was basically made in the pattern of a live action film and you know then you know mario an animated movie well perfect it's basically cartoon a, a cartoony video game so you know this is going to be the first time we translate a cartoony nintendo video game to live action mm-hmm. or at least it with its, this modern era of filmmaking so that is what i want to see if we can do if, if, i want to see if there's a way we can make that work is is that a uniform why he got that fit on or is that just him that's just him oh my boy i thought he was like a guard <laughs> or something i don't know you know i well, think about it in Breath of the Wild, yeah. In Breath of the Wild, they kind of explain it that way—that he's a knight, mm-hmm. and that's kind of like, yeah, their outfit. His Breath of the Wild fit. That's yeah, yeah he, that's his uniform. But uh, you green, okay. you know, that's just him. <laughs> he just he grew up like that. I, I just I like did. green. He grew up with the Kokiri. They 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 wore green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone wore that in uh in the Kokiri village. Um, but yeah, uh, okay, the, yeah. Wait, uh, final I was, thoughts. I was gonna say, I, I I just thought about it too. Think about. Like when I'm thinking about Maze Runner, and to be fair, I only watched the first one. I wanted to watch the other two. I just didn't do it. Uh, didn't but, have the strength. <laughs> do it. I was like, the first one was fine. I, I thought it was actually a decent film. I enjoyed watching it, but I just never got around to watching the other two. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, just think when I think of the first one, and uh, and trying to like relate that back to Zelda. Obviously, the story is very different, right? But I'm like thinking quest wise, adventure wise. I definitely could see why. They might have picked West Ball. I don't. I never saw the other two movies, so they suck. That's why I'm, I gave that preface, by the way. But at least based off the first movie, I can get the idea of why they might pick him as a director because I I can see the whole adventure, the quest, the mm-hmm. the uh, the moments of fear that you know you put in there, where it's like, oh, I can feel like these kids, and they were young technically. In yeah, he like directed like young. Like I don't know, like young kids, but like teenagers, young adults. Yeah, yeah, teenagers. So yeah. If they and, and some of them were, were younger. I don't remember how young, but you know, there were some like younger kids there too, uh, like maybe like 12, 13, 14, I don't know, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm like, I can see more so now thinking about that for like some of the shots that he went for for the movie, for the uh, the aesthetic for like. I know it's just a giant maze, but you get it. <laughs> like the aesthetic for stuff. That's what it would uh, need, though. It would need those panning shots of just yeah, you those taking in the environment that you're in. Yeah. And, and yeah, I mean, he could he could probably shoot a, can, a a good dungeon scene. Right, and I, I thought to him, I was like, you know what? Actually, Ooh, never yeah. mind. This a lot of dungeoneering, and then boom, high roll for the last bit. <laughs> uh, and then working with the and directing uh, young adults and kids, especially if, if we do the whole young young link and an older link type of situation even though he's like 16 awkward time so still not that old anyway um it can still kind of appeal to kids because then if you're like i don't know 10 you're like ooh, 16 is cool I yeah mean, like, i can't wait till i'm an older older kid because yeah. look what he can do so even though <laughs> so i can see both um so yeah i i i, I almost I, I still don't know like what the vision is per se mm-hmm. but if it's anything related uh to maze runner if they kind of do the whole avatar s thing if he's still trying to keep the idea and it actually looks decent that's why i'm like i don't know budget wise how they're going to do that depending on how much money they're putting in because avatar costs a crap ton of money to look how avatar looks so <laughs> i don't know what they're doing with that i don't but, think we're going to have avatar money i'll just put it that way yeah, they're definitely yeah. not having avatar oh yeah <laughs> uh but still i'm 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 not like i'm excited just because i want to see zelda on the big screen but not hype like i have expectations i'm waiting to see i'm very calm about it i just no, I'm going to be there day one because no matter what, I want to see it. Just to see if I want... I, I want to be able to hate it knowing I saw it, if it's bad. That's that's <laughs> where I'm at. I love the IP so much that if it sucks, I want to go see it so I can complain about it and actually say, no, I sat. I paid money. Two hours. It was a trash dumpster fire. Miyamoto, what did you do? <laughs> I want to be able to actually make a complaint, not just build off of other people's complaints. That's why no matter what, I'm going to day one. <laughs> I like it. It's crazy how the the first time that Sony and Nintendo work with each other again, it's for Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Which isn't that kind of why they separated? Wasn't that the the game that well, they did together? They, they separated because the trying console. to do a system. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But wasn't that going to be the next game or something too? Like, for, wasn't Zelda the next one? No, they put game. Zelda games on the Betrayer console, like the the Philips yeah, yeah. CDI so that, that came that's, out that's, because of it. That's what yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. So it's so funny that, that, that is, Zelda's yeah. Like... <laughs> what if? What if Nintendo does it again? Or what if Sony does it for revenge? They're like, oh no, we're just pull out. (laughs) Play (laughs) F. Hey. hey. That'd be funny. Damn. Give me toy rights, he says. (laughs) That's 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 how it'd be in Japan. They're like, oh no, we remember. 
<laughs> Miyamoto, Miyamoto, I was there. <laughs> I was in the office. I was mad too. It took it took it took a couple decades for me to get over this. <laughs> Uh, oh, but all right, we will move on to our last topic here. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, um, an Arkansas family has filed a uh, a lawsuit oh, naming Microsoft, EA, Activision, Ubisoft, Epic Games, and a lot of their game dev studios um, as being perpetrators of sort of uh, malicious uh, gambling and indoctrination aimed at children, like microtransactions, um, mm. What do you call it? like fantasy uh, collectathons? Like you know the the my is it my player? I can't remember what it's called actually. And like FIFA, oh, and two K and FIFA, two K, yeah, yeah, all that yeah, stuff. Yeah. They're essentially saying that um, they are willfully creating addictive uh, services and gameplay and uh, things that are laden with microtransactions um, in order to essentially steal money from kids, yeah. like a vulnerable demographic. Um, and I, I, it, it's hard to say that this is BS in all honesty. Like yeah, the fact that it's coming from like a random family, it's kind of true. Yeah. Like they're <laughs> not wrong though. Mm -hmm. I will say some of the, the, some of the examples that they give personally just don't really hold water in terms of like their complaints. Like they say they have a, uh, a 13 year old son who was a victim of these companies, which is why they're following this suit. And that their son uh, spends uh, $350 a month on gaming. Their 13-year-old son spends $350 a month on gaming. Where does he uh, get $350? Well, first this is, of all. These are the questions. These are the questions. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like, That's the son spent $350 a month on gaming. Um, he, he, regardless of their, uh, you know, telling him not to, he will spend hours and hours playing video games uh, without them being able to stop him and whatnot. Oh, and all of that, to me, sounds like that's, that's bad parenting. Middle yeah. America um, video game concerns. That's all I'm yeah. Right yeah, I mean, are we gonna? I mean, first and Look. foremost, what is a 13 year old doing playing Call of Duty, Battlefield, and Rainbow Six, which are the games that they cite in the right. lawsuit? Right. Those are all them. games that are not marketed to children. In fact, they are explicitly said they're not to be sold to people under the age. Those are, I believe, those are all rated M yeah, for mature. They are all rated M for mature. Mm -hmm. So the child, so you know, it. I, I, yes, I do agree, Casey, that there are, there are legitimate complaints in this in this lawsuit, mm -hmm. but you know it it does have to you know I do feel like that's something that the game companies will probably use as a shield, which is you, your child shouldn't have access to these games. Yeah, because the fact we that they have, do is their own decision. We've done, gave the okay. we've done everything we can to oh. try to make sure you know we've mar we've said this isn't to be sold to children. We've we've not marketed it at children supposedly, you know. But um, I'm sure there's also a counter complaint that's easily made there, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. I think legally that is something that they are going to throw up like a shield. It's like, well, this is an ESRB rating of M for mature. Child shouldn't be playing it. It's your problem. And it also Ooh. mentions on stuff like that, like, yeah, you can make online purchases on this type of game. Like, they, they put all of that on game boxes and everything. So parents know ahead of time when their child gets the game. So they'd have to, like, fight both of those allegations. Like, who thought, let's bring this through? Because I'm in here, they're like, oh, these, you got, uh, it's Microsoft Corporation, Activision Blizzard, including Affinity Ward, Treyarch, Sledgehammer, Epic Games, EA, Ubisoft. Yes, I do think they are scumbags. They are very manipulative. But then it, it's like, I wish of all the cases to bring forward, it's not this one where it's, <laughs> J GD is 13 years old, 13, plays video games 12 to 14 hours per day, Lucky Despite <laughs> parental efforts to limit this time, uh, members You're of the court, I am a Latino man. My parents <laughs> would not that. have ever gone with the parental efforts are not enough. Oh, they would have found more parental efforts for my ass. How hard are they trying? Because yeah, it's like, literally oh, 14 oh, hours. Don't they have parental oh, the hold hold the consoles too? Can't you like put timers on everything? I know yeah. you can on Switch. Yeah. But yes. Yeah, yeah so my mama used to hide my like she'd rip research. my consoles out and hide them. Like, now, right? yeah, I you mean, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to dismiss what the plaintiffs are going for here because yes, Ooh. video games are made to yeah. be addictive even to adults. Yes. I mean, mm -hmm. I and they're you know everything is geared towards microtransactions because that's where companies make the big money these days. And I mean, if we're let's take just. So I'm meeting them halfway. I'm going to take the one game that the child should be playing, which is Fortnite. Rainbow Fortnite Fortnite. is geared towards selling lots of uh, V-Bucks. Mm -hmm. 
And I could totally see a kid paying three hundred fifty dollars a month for V Bucks in Roblox right. and Roblox uh, in Fortnite. Um, Even Roblox though, no. Well, yeah, Roblox. Is Roblox, is Roblox isn't Absolutely. named, but the it question, is. Though, where are them kids getting this money? Thirteen-year-old. I can see oh, impulsive my. people spending that money. Why these kids have three hundred? Yeah, how do they have access per to month? That? Three oh, thousand. He should be. He should be funding Second Wind. <laughs> <laughs> this and, little and young you, venture capitalist. If he's somehow earning this money himself, then no. at that point it's his There's money. No way. So I, I can't even. Oh, that that too. I, hey, I'll be like, yeah. hey, look, I understand trying to take your responsibility, but if he earned his money and he want to spend it on games, I don't. I don't that's up. To, that's again a parenting thing. That ain't a yeah. developer if a issue. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the, if a thirteen year old is earning that much money per month, he's. He, his parents should stop him because he's up to no good. <laughs> also, also, how's yeah. he earning that much money a month if he's sense. playing 12 to 14 hours a day? <laughs> I need that type of grind to play 12 to 14 hours a right? day and how still you... make money. Yeah, well, and yeah like I, I feel like there's, maybe there's missing information in this because for him to play oh, that absolutely. much and have access to this money and his parents not having a means to stop him, it sounds like, the, is he is he a pro? Like, is this 13-year-old winning game tournaments? Because that's the only way I would see that his parents are like, all right, well, he does need to get his practice in, but now it's getting out of control yeah. for whatever reason. Uh, playing that many, like, if you're a pro, you, you would have said only Fortnite or only Rainbow Six to, Fair. you ain't pro yeah, in all of yeah. them. Yeah. You're trashing all of them, maybe. <laughs> Kids bringing in yeah. a check. What they you ain't got cite... nothing to complain about. <laughs> Yeah, they cite various complaints, like various patents that are designed to uh, make a game, you know, yeah. more mm-hmm. like to, to get a game to get get you to spend more money in games. And, you know, I do agree that these are a lot of these are predatory towards adults as well. Mm-hmm. So and that that's yeah. something that is worth looking into, because, I mean, the whole like thing with loot boxes, we all, like we all like not well, not all of us, but I'm just saying like there was a general sort of like sense of disdain towards everybody for, like why are loot boxes such a big deal? But, you know, when you, you know, I think we all and the, the both lawyers and the legal and, and the legal side of things. And we all came around like, yeah, it's gambling. That's just gambling. It's I love the, gambling. it's the one arm bandit. <laughs> and this is not something that and well, I mean, nothing wrong with gambling as an adult. If you, you know, as, as long as you, you know, don't hurt yourself doing it. But it's one of those things like. They, they, they don't want to be perceived that way because there are very particular laws around gambling. Yeah. So game companies have tried to like say like, oh, of course this isn't gambling. I'm like, yes, it's gambling. Come on mm-hmm. now. So yeah. I don't, I don't want to be on the side of big corpo here because like that's one thing I have a horror of doing. Game companies do not care about you. They don't give a darn about your kids. And they all they, I guess like they mentioned like the practices of like getting money from whales. And a lot of times whales are young children who don't have a concept of like. That money is like that money is money, and you know they're like they're spending it like it's nothing. Sometimes, uh, yeah, I'm with it again. It's almost like if you read the news bit, you almost stop at the incredulous part where it's 13 years old, 300 Mm -hmm. bucks, 3,000, all that stuff. But then you get down into the patents, like uh, Activision's patent for customized messaging campaigns based on players' behavioral data and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah, that is super scummy, and you are trying to do all this like addictive nonsense. And I also don't side with the corpos, but I'm of the mind, like, if you're going to hit them, hit them to where you knock them down instead of like, oh, this just makes it harder for anyone yeah. to be taken serious. But yeah, day, but yeah, it's it's like they're bringing up good points in regards to what the gaming industry does for games like this. Yeah. But at the same time, you can't like I said, we all know companies are companies and they just want your money, but you can't fault the companies on what you are allowing your child to do Mm -hmm. when there are when there are things to prevent all of this like as far as just hitting the hitting the buy button on on the games itself that's a little bit more difficult but limit their play time monitor what they're playing if you see that either if they are spending their own money they're spending their own money if they're not spending your if they're not taking your card and you're starting to see all these incredulous charges popping up on your account and is messing with your money, you know, that's a different story. But if you yourself are giving your child 350 a month, allowing them to play more than half the day on these games, that's yeah, on you. That's insane. Like that, that's, not yeah. on the, that's not on the company. That's on you for take, your, take the console away. Put some parental controls on. Say no. Like I don't... <laughs> Yeah, that, that is that is truly insane. Like the the level yeah. of autonomy this thirteen year old has is yeah, something that's... that is, that seems 
unprecedented. That's not on these companies. He, that, like, that's not normal. Some, yeah, he's got a little more autonomy and finances than some small nations. Yes. Like, <laughs> what, what is you doing? Um, also, in the in the sense of like, whoa, oh is to the whales. Really? I've I've met a couple of whales where I was like, they're spending ten thousand dollars a year minimum on like Clash Royale and stuff like that. Mm. And I go, Jesus Christ! But it wasn't like, a, oh, I have a problem. The problem was, dude made too much money. He was like, two million a year is what his worth was. So ten k wasn't anything. Yeah, most. In the way that I am like, yo, what's this indie game on sale? Ten bucks, cool. Some whales are like, that's just their pocket change. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, uh, yeah, for Genshin sure. puts out their well, numbers, yeah. and they're like, the, and most the majority are spenders the are the like <laughs> older and to have that kind of income, you know. Yeah. So. so and yes, I understand that, you know, I think there is a case to be made that, you know, um maybe companies should disclose like things that they are going to do to try to get you to spend money in game. But I mean, there is a certain like I I'm I'm trying to look at it purely from a legal sense. Like ethically, yes, this is really scummy what these companies are doing, but legally there is like I think there is a certain point where the law says, okay, this company has discharged all its responsibilities to disclose. Because I don't know if they're actually trying it and trying to do this in the lawsuit, but I have heard that the family and or the plaintiffs or at least their legal team are trying to like they're they're going for uh like some kind of like protections or like limitations for child gaming time and it's like, okay, well, like that already exists in in, in you know yeah. via the consoles yeah but also if you go any any bigger on that it's like mm-hmm. are we going to turn into china here which mm-hmm. specifically does limit everybody's uh, limit children's gaming mm-hmm. time for, by force so i mean i'm not i'm not i'm not passing judgment you know on whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing i'm just saying legally what exactly can we achieve here yeah like it doesn't it doesn't say that this suit is aiming for like a monetary payout, does it? It is, yeah. It is. They're, they are looking for damages for, among other things, injuries he sustained as a result of his addiction in his hands, elbows, and shoulders. Oh, right. And right, the right. necessary <laughs> care, parents' economic laws, statutory and punitive damages, and legal fees. Right. Doesn't okay, say uh, how much that's going to be, but I'm going to guess oh, they're probably going to go for a few insane. million. I if, think I, if I was in that court, bro, like, yeah, oh, Your Honor, man. I'd like to show my client's MMR. <laughs> <laughs> he is bronze on all of them. Yeah. Face closed. <laughs> okay, so I I have a theory that um that they are looking for a payout. This family um they can tell their kid to stop, but they've been advised because someone either has lawyer friends who are in the gaming industry to be like, no, these companies have all of these things on the book. And if we just if we build up a case of a kid who is so traumatized by all of these things that the companies will settle so that they don't have to disclose all of these sorts of practices in an open court. So I think they don't fully intend to actually get anything done with this. They are looking for a payday. That's my theory. I don't want to I don't want to like demean the people. I I I mean, you also got to think. You also got to think there's also a legal team backing them up here. And I would say the legal team is probably the one who is going for like, you know, you know, going full bore into this. I Mm -hmm. don't think that this is some like suburban mother in Arkansas who is like, yes, I'm going to get $50 million from Activision. They would have had to be talked into it is what I'm getting at. Yeah. 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 Like, Like, girl, this is the plan. This is what we can do. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and again, you know, I'm not a parent, so I don't want to sit here and be like, hmm bad parent because you know i i get it you yeah, know I I mean, say that. I, i'll say it <laughs> well I, okay yeah that's fair but i'm when just gonna be you... like i just want to throw this out there like you know it's you know maybe you know working family both parents work maybe they don't know maybe they they don't have a lot of control over what their son does during the day mm-hmm. that's a possibility yeah so. i used to play, i used to play in the streets <laughs> They should be like, all right, when the sun comes down. Streets, hours, streets don't give you that dopamine hours hit. Of the day. the child, is the kid going to school? Like, how are these hours possible? Like, there's there's too many factors where, like, like we I know we have to speak legal, like, in legal factors because this could be a thing that's thrown at them in court of, like, what are you doing, though? It's like you're throwing a lot of this on, on the companies, but ultimately you have to give the okay for purchases of these things yeah you have to everything that you're talking console. about is disclosed you and they're 13 year old a credit card no 
No. I mean, he wouldn't be the first 13 year old who well, stole a parent's true. credit you card. Can, you can get a credit card, like your parents can get you one on their account. You can't have your own. You yeah. know what I mean? You can do that. But that would still be on the parents it. then. Yeah. yeah. That's still that on the parents. We're yeah. just you giving can, little yeah, kids can, money like that. Yeah. What? I was born yeah, You can steal. You, yeah. I mean, again, wouldn't be the first 13 year old to steal their parents' credit card. Nope. So, I mean, yeah, it's. It, yeah. It sounds like this is a very unhappy and unhealthy child, honestly. Mm -hmm. And um, the only thing I will say about all this is I hope that child is getting getting help. Yeah. Yes. So like if if that's losing his mind when he's not playing games, I guarantee he is no. (laughs) Like you know it. You know he's screaming, kicking. I want to play Fortnite. I'm gonna get it. You know that is one of these kids, and they're just like, I don't know what to do. Uh, Let's get some money. This was an episode of Super Nanny or something back in the day, Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Oh, and and, well, and it makes sense. Their (laughs) brains are not fully developed. The chemistry at 13. Are you kidding? That is a cauldron of bad chemistry up in the head. So. I've been 13. I was there. It was awful. And I was so I, I I I get it. I feel like the only real victim here is that kid. If it's that's if oh, that's yeah. if that's yeah. his life, that's not a good life. I mean, yeah. it's not I'm, and you know we, I, I agree these companies do have ways of manipulating people into believing that this is like the pinnacle of their lives is getting achievements or getting getting wins or getting crowns and I under and you know when you're that age when your brain is that like in that stage of development, I can truly believe that he is like believing that this is like the only fulfilling thing in his life right now. Mm. So yeah, I don't want to demean him by saying it's like, oh, he's probably just a spoiled brat who plays video games. Like, no, this is a very unhealthy kid, and I'm hoping he's getting the help he deserves. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, yeah. I also wanted to say I'm actually surprised about just the actual list of defendants because. I feel like they would have had a much easier time if they just went with one company. If going, mm. especially for these heavy hitters that they're going for, I'm like they're they're not gonna pay out anything. The fact that no. you're doing all of them, they're like, oh no, we can't lose this type of case or pay out on this type of case because more people are gonna come. Especially because you're hitting five heavy hitters in the industry. Nah, they all about to put their lawyers together. It's I don't yeah, know what team you that's have. That's really not going to take much of any one of those companies. Very big super idea. lawyer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's, that's <laughs> just crazy. the Voltron of lawyers. <laughs> you should have picked one company. And they came to Phil Spencer and gave put that. You know. Microsoft. They put that paper Epic on his desk game. and said, "Oh, laughed and kept. <laughs> just like, don't he's worry." Like, <laughs> they put it on there and he's like, "What?" And they're like, "And also, sir, he's also uh, they're also suing A, B, C, and D." Get him on the line. Get him on the line. <laughs> all right, guys. So, like, are we just putting all our lawyers in there? Or are we just going to put our money in there collectively for a super Get Steve. Like, what are we Steve doing? Steve got this. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I'm that. Intern. Name. Oh, man. Yeah. Even, even, even though it still would have been hard enough, because I feel like out of all of them, they probably face, like, the most. Well, maybe Epic had a, this thing with Apple. But when it came to legal stuff, I feel like Activision Blizzard with all the legal stuff from consumers yeah. internally they're ready for someone like to with come bobby kodak's track record of ideas yeah. oh, they're, they're like try try us we have, we have paid out enough we're done <laughs> we nobody getting an extra cent from us they are john, so even john though, Ricatello's like track record of there. ideas come on now Listen, i feel like they would have been john Ricatello ain't there no more <laughs> he's yeah he's been gone since 20 early 2010s yeah yeah, yeah. That, they should they should have maybe stuck with just one but doing all five no no, yeah, I mean, it seems but, like well, the problem is across several different IP, though. Like, so no, I get like it. this tr- kid is doing this but in they, different places. I think they places. should have just picked whichever one he did primarily and just focused on that one. <laughs> they are trying. Cases. They're hoping that at least one of the companies settles. I, I mean, if I were a lawyer, this is what I would do: go after all of them, hope that one of them settles. Because I mean, I if you just back. go after, and, you just go I after have- Activision. And I agree, like, I, that's what I, 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 that makes sense to me, but I feel like because of this type of case, and for the, this is an industry thing as a whole, I can't see them not communicating with each other, like, okay, if, uh, whichever one of these have the most money, I, I don't know which one has the most, I'm assuming like, Microsoft. Bobby, you get this, but, lo- this lawsuit from the people down in Arkansas? Yeah, and, and I, I feel like whoever's Eve the Kimo big Eve is dog. just calling up Bobby Kodak and just being like... <laughs> yeah. Bobby, did you see? Did you see? Yeah. And I feel like I can't do like the Jackson, biggest that's the best I got. The, whoever's the biggest dog, all of them was like, don't any of you dare settle. I swear, if any of you settle, mm-hmm. I will I will rain down on your company if you I settle the, right now. 
<laughs> the biggest thing with this is going to be how they play it. Because if they play it from the my 13-year-old child, the only one they could possibly even talk to is Epic. Because <laughs> all the others are going to say M for Mature. Yeah, like there's a wire yeah. here and where he shouldn't have been. Fortnite Fortnite is the yeah, only like I said, ethically, yeah. I don't agree. I Ethically, I think, you know, there is, like, these games do... Let's be real. These games don't care Absolutely. if kids are playing they yeah. they and they they are happy to take money from children even if even though children should not be playing their games they're not going to be the ones policing at all ethically yes but legally yeah darren's right they are going to just like drop the like esrb ratings down like a wall and just say hey your child shouldn't be playing this game we've done everything we can to tell you this game isn't for children mm -hmm. your child's Especially playing it it's on you except in the beginning too yeah you literally being called you have to go through like three different i accept screens before yeah. you can even part playing the game I'm 18 so you didn't plus. Your kid, mm -hmm. You didn't do anything. Like yeah. anytime my kid plays something, I mean, I'm a gamer, so duh. So I, I'm the one getting the games anyway. They're six, but when they're older, yeah. it'll be like, yeah. what game do you want? I already know what that game is. First of all, I bought it for me. Let's start with the suit. You're not. I playing mean, it. yeah. I, I mean, this isn't the 90s anymore. I mean, for her to be the child, for the parents to be to have a 13 year old child, they yeah. grew up in the age of you know like since we we're just talking about it legend of zelda you know from onward so you know mm -hmm. these 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 parents can't be that old so as at a certain point in the room and saw them playing a game that was mildly graphic the first time you even if you're like i is don't know a what gun <laughs> oh, yeah. you're like whoa whoa what's going on here <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna play call of duty what the heck is call of duty and you're what you sit down watch them play and see what the game is for five minutes and you're like hey i think this might be a bit much i don't want you yeah. playing this yet that's oh. it. <laughs> you stop yeah, it like there, early. <laughs> there is a factor of parental involvement in this, regardless of like how troubled the kid is, how overworked the parents might be. At the end of the day, like that is still your kid. Like if yeah. if that child refused to eat anything, like you couldn't sue Nabisco, like what's going on with your crackers? He hates them. Like it, it just doesn't make any sense. It, but yeah. Like, yeah. like you have to figure out how to deal with that problem because that's your kid. Actually, that would be an interesting sort of like metaphorical, like straw man, like suits. So like if your child is addicted to donuts, <laughs> would you sue Duncan for like making for putting too much sugar into their donuts? But trying if Duncan to get them had addicted? a patent like, yeah. hey, let's try cracking the donuts. Maybe you have yeah. a case. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Real quick. I do know for uh, the only thing that's close to that, that I've ever seen and actually pay out as a was it a class action or like one of those big ones where like a bunch of people get a dollar because there's like a thousand yeah, yeah. A thousand big class who, who, who yeah uh is for like um what's it called like the the wheaties like the cereal because of the advertising as being healthy but when you actually look at it it's still just as bad as oh, other bad right. cereal. they got that because it's like that's just bad false advertising yeah, yeah. you lied versus <laughs> this is like ain't no false advertisement all the disclosures are there. We follow all the systems that the government already makes us do to be put in place. Epic's like, we got in yeah. trouble already. We... <laughs> and unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, here in America, you're going to run into a lot of problems with lawmakers, especially if you're trying to, like, say, like, video game companies need to implement more controls or something. You're going to get a lot of people who are like, no, the state shouldn't be any further into this business's business. Um, you know, it should at some point, it should be the parents' responsibility. Not saying, again... Not saying I agree or disagree, but I'm saying that, you know, that is, uh, you know, it, it, politics does play a part here as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. There, There's no such thing as, you know, uh, when you're trying to say, like, you know, it's like there should be more controls or, about this. You know, it's like, yes, everyone wants to protect the kids. But at a certain point, you know, there are going to be lawmakers who say, like, well, at what point are we letting the parents abdicate responsibility? Yeah. Because so, especially at that age, right? Like maybe if this was a slightly older teenager, like it might be harder for a parent to like control them because even physically they could be like just completely yeah. out of control. Yeah. But like at this age, like parents got to be parents. I'm sorry. Like, I, I don't yeah. know if that sounds super conservative or something, but like you got to be able to control Literally, your kid. To I, I think it's not, the console it's, and get rid of it. I, see, it's, 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 it's super it pock. Internet, like, that's what it is. <laughs> It's super pod, probably of our age too, because I mean, like, I wasn't, I wasn't gently parented, as as they put it. And I know gentle parenting is is the thing in yeah, answer that, yeah, that to the way we were raised. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, like, no, like, oh, don't be taking, ripping it away from them because this traumatizes the child and whatnot. But it's just like, mm. uh, yeah, don't, don't. Do don't. Oh, you still do this? Don't do this. Don't do that. All right, now you can't do it. But I told you not to do it. There's going to be yeah. consequences to your actions. You did yeah. not. You did not listen. Here's the consequence. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Even as an adult, I'm like, <coughs> all right, me. restrict Bless how much me. sugar I bring into the house. You know, that's just a sense of <coughs> that you got. Bless what me. you got. Bless you. Pardon me. That's uh, it. L- Lampy asking uh, me, Casey, what did you do uh, with your kid for Roblox? Because I'm presuming you didn't know all about it. Um, no, but I learned about it. That's the thing. My, when my son got really into Roblox, I would watch him play it. I would see what he was doing and I would get annoyed by what he was doing. Then I, I would <laughs> find out information about it. And then at a certain point, I went like, no, like you're not playing any more Roblox. All you do is play Roblox when you play Roblox and like you're not doing anything constructive. Like this is a game what? that doesn't <laughs> teach you or and, and there's some weird stuff in Roblox. Yeah, yeah, yeah there's other Google stuff in Roblox, Roblox that is just very <laughs> disconcerting. But like at a certain point after I'd learned enough, I was like, no more Roblox. And like that just hasn't been lifted since. And I don't regret yeah. it because I've only heard worse things about that game since. Yeah, oh, yeah. you're not you're not wrong. I just, by the way, I was I've been looking at the lawsuit because there's a I found a copy of the lawsuit online. You will not believe what I just found because I found because oh. apparently the mother is filing this lawsuit on behalf of not only her son but also her husband. And I was like, why is she filing on behalf of her husband? I just looked at the lawsuit. One of the things it lists: GD's gaming addiction has also had negative effects on their relationship with their father, Thomas Dunn. Thomas Dunn seeks redress on his own behalf, seeking damages for loss of society and companionship. He's suing these companies for monetary compensation because his son doesn't hang out with him anymore. Maybe if he played Fortnite. I don't know. It's like, what? yeah, it even says GD's say. father, Thomas Dunn, is only able to interact with his son by playing video games with him. GD's mother, Casey Dunn, has lost hope in her ability to control GD's game playing time and fears GD when she attempts to take games away. He fears him. My mama what? shot what? You? My what mama would shoot me. Yeah, get sorry. the chunkla. Get the chunkla. <laughs> it's I not even like dad is right not there. in I'm, his life. You're I telling can't. me the dad is there. Well, the fact <laughs> that Look, I, I mean, I'm sorry. Like, I'm he reading knows. this and I'm like, oh my God, this is worse than I thought thought it's spiraling it's spiraling uh, I was like I what is what is going on mother. i was really hoping like, maybe she's a single mother no, no this fam- no. family needs no. help but gd not from also a lawsuit. <laughs> gd also weighs 300 pounds and has frequent bouts of gamers rage where he throws game controllers and breaks them Who he plays games with one? and on his xbox game pass subscri- subscription bro oh, you called it you, you called it a little gamer gremlin we got here. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm just like I was going through the actual. I decided, you know what? Let's go to the actual text of the lawsuit, and I'm like, oh my god! Like, it, nobody is lot. gonna like. Nobody is gonna like. Lampy said in chat, no one is gonna Cartman. accept Eric responsibility Cartman. for for your child doesn't want to play with, doesn't want to hang out with you anymore. Yeah, this is, this is this very is extreme. South, this is a South Park World of Warcraft episode. Absolutely, they're, they're, legit, they're legit. The uh, Eric Cartman's mom is like, mom. Pale to coming down with the the pail to put under him so he can oh, use God. the bathroom about getting out of his chair. Like that's what that's what this. Yeah, there, there's definite out. enabling behavior going on here because they're they're oh, too afraid nah. to to parent. Like that's yeah, what it sounds wrong. like. I get it. The bigger yeah. child yeah. might stuff, eat the smaller. Hurt, but yeah, and I and, yeah, and I don't mean this. I I promise I do not mean this in like an insulting way. But the kid's three hundred. He can't be that quick. Literally pick up <laughs> the console. And just take, I, I promise, I don't mean this insulting. I just mean, if my no, kid was 300 pounds, it's like, I get it. You might be more weight than me, but you're still 300. You're shorter. Swipe, like, swipe, I, I, swipe, I got you, console. bro. I'm going to clip you real quick. You're not going to take five minutes to get up. I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm sorry. You're going to no, take no, a you're, while to get up. Wrong. I'm going to get this console. Good points. I'm going to yeah. take it out of here. Just if the fact that there's so many, like, they both have things here where they seek fair compensation for the reasonable loss of the services, society, companionship, and familial relationship with their child. Like, like they're, the- they're putting a dollar sign on all of these things that if, should they even do this case and win, this does not solve the problem. Fix anything. It yeah, doesn't. Yeah. So, like, uh, what, right like th- what is this lawsuit? Right there, See, though. That's that's the real thing that the game. They don't even go into all the actual lawsuit. The game comes to be like, how does this money solve your issue? I am <laughs> like, so glad that. I found a copy of this lawsuit because this, this is, is like this you. text is Thank unbelievable. You, Rachel, like here, this, I'll, I'll send Rachel? you a little. I'll send you the link just in case you guys want to read it for yourselves. But yes, um, Rachel, who you you know your lawyer stuff. Is that not a thing though, or it's just like when we make this case, just present as many in like individualize yeah. all the th- okay yeah mm-hmm. yeah. The like, idea maybe is we'll that get some money out of one of them. Yeah, that's yeah. Ba- that's also why they're suing all these companies. They're hoping one of them settles on one of the charges and they get a few million dollars out of it. Yeah. So no, no, I give you twenty I, bucks to get out of here. Is what? I'm yeah, basically, basically. I Your mean, son all... don't want to talk to you. I give you a Chris twenty out my wallet. Like, here's right some V bucks. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, Apple's right gonna say Epic's gonna give him V bucks. Like, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Oh, speak of the devil, children. Mm-hmm. 
But I anyway, don't. yeah, I, I, I'm reading this lawsuit yet. Yeah, like, I will say like, yes, it is in a lawyer's best interest, I would say, and to, for the sake of their client, try to get as many of these charges going as possible. But I mean, the, the details in this lawsuit just make it even worse. It's like the parents are, aren't even trying. It's like the father's like, I've lost all relationship with my son. It's like, you play video games with him. Lawyers You're part of the problem. Just... Huh. Like, oh, are you Michael from GTA 5? Hmm. Watch, yo, watch him be streamers. Watch yeah. them actually actively enable it. Watch them be streamers. Or That's trying to be. Yeah. From a so, from streaming. brings Even me back I don't to... Think you're supposed to be allowed to do that, right? You're not supposed to be Like, 13 is the the cutoff like no, that, you have to that be is the cutoff. yeah okay. yeah but yeah that's my that that's my that's my take on this that's just furthers my belief that this child is the only real victim in this situation and this child needs help and yeah. that his parents are probably not going to be able to give him yeah they i'm gonna be i'm gonna say it they don't seem like they don't seem like they know what they're doing <laughs> like i need catholic school that's what i need <laughs> i'm taking the power cable off of something everything else is there except nope. the power cable oh you thing. gotta be careful though like that's the as a as a little well, he kid got money he'll order it on amazon yeah 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 amazon. you gotta <laughs> figure it out first like you said he we don't know if he moved fast we gotta see if he can move fast. <laughs> that's what he's about yeah no. <laughs> i'm making jokes now <laughs> <laughs> the sympathy I don't, slowly yeah. just been flying out the yeah, more and, and details that's, that's why i'm like, like i'm trying oh, not nah. to be insulted but it's like nah my, my uh, yeah yeah i have i have sympathy for the kid yeah yeah, yeah. Sure. This, this child. And, this is a child that needs help. And again, they need don't, to do we don't want to act. No, go they ahead. They need to Sorry. do something on their end as parents. They need to do, like, this lawsuit is is a band aid. If they win anything, it's nothing but a band aid, and not that's, this is just showing that there's <laughs> as time goes on, if they do not do something to address this with their child, it's going to be something else that they try to find compensation for. That is just another excuse for their lack of parenting for better terms like that's all it is yeah, like I've, I've read nothing so far rachel has found nothing so far that suggests that any part of this is going towards helping that kid and that's the... what's really like upsetting to me it, well they're they're requesting like damn you know coverage for like his injuries that he sustained while gaming like i'm assuming i'm assuming repetitive strain it's injuries because he's 300 pounds and unhealthy so the rest of his body is not able to function properly yeah, like, well yeah uh, i mean at a certain happening? point like you can't all, like yeah. i don't like, no lawyer in the planet is gonna say like we gotta sue video game companies because your child does not exercise enough like that's not even within the video game company's like realm of responsibility mm. But like the, so, the the amount of time he spends playing video games as well, and the fact that they allow it is like point blank like that's on them. I can't I yeah. cannot fathom a reason how someone else is responsible for for that aspect of it because his hands hurt because he plays too much too long, and that happens under their watch. Like you're, the game companies are not in your house making you do that. I'm sorry, and like I really don't like sounding like we are like we are yeah, advocating for like the, the shield yeah for like the big yeah, no. like, epic side but like, well i mean that. again we're, we're tackling that we have to look at this legally not just yeah, ethically yeah. and and this sort of thing this sort of frivolous feeling lawsuit gums up the works in case someone actually has a legitimate claim to go against some of these practices but no. like we said before like they they've put up sort of walls already like there's an esrb there are age ratings they do have to comply with certain government regulations about microtransactions and stuff and it doesn't it doesn't stop the fact that full-on adults get tricked by this sort of thing and spend a ton of money yeah. um but like they're they're less victims in that way too because they are full-on adults and we we can't yeah. protect everybody from themselves in that way. Yeah, I'm with, I'm with Kami. Yeah, real talk. If that kid had a different addiction, like drugs or alcohol, where they had to leave the house and, and get them by stealing or whatever, it doesn't look like they would like have that kind of control. Absolutely not. So, it's, it, as far as it all goes, because it's just going to turn into a bunch of like me ripping into you know these kinds of parents. Because I grew up in a very different kind of household. A summary for me is just poor kid first and foremost. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, these games are meant to be incredibly addictive. You also got responsibilities as parents. Mm -hmm. those, those are my big three there. Yeah, all of them true. Absolutely. Yeah, game game addiction is real. It is, I mean... Yeah, yeah just like any it, other sort of addiction can be it is. real. Like, yeah. I got a sugar problem, bro. That's all right. <laughs> no. But yeah, it is, it is still... Um, it, but it's hard to argue that, you know, these parents are going to get anything out of suing the companies directly. Yeah, that, I feel the same. Or if they should, I'm for me. I'm honestly at the point that they even should get some money out of this. That's right. And they uh, get sued so themselves. Cool. That's that's almost another thing. Uh, the yeah. parents. I don't know. I don't how, think. 
I don't know? think there would be grounds for countersuit, honestly. Yeah. Based I feel on, like based if on they the go, complaint. I feel like if they go with this, CPS is coming for that kid. That might uh, be the best case. Uh, that's from what I'm hearing. What, I'm like, this I, is you just painted I, the target on your backs. I don't know. I think you're vastly yeah. overestimating the interest that CPS, CPS is going to take yeah. in yeah. a right. child yeah. who is who is well fed and has a roof over their head. You, you're this right. Is true. Just be CPS like, oh, CPS has enough. to deal with kids who are like being actively like physically abused. Yeah, abused so, and abandoned, tortured and abused and abandoned. Of, yeah. So I, and they are already mm-hmm. grossly underpaid and you know overstretched yeah. so i don't i mean i don't i don't want to say it's like oh cps coming for that like no cps ain't coming for this kid uh tyrell 007 says uh addiction, that's not a good thing yeah yeah says uh, addiction is the empty vessel what you fill it with almost doesn't matter and that that's a very true statement mm-hmm. yeah so the game uh fixation is probably the symptom of something else going on in that house if we're being honest yeah yeah so Tyra, That's uh, Tyra also say gamer rage. He probably injured himself. That that also is possible. That, gamer but it rage. also says like <laughs> wrist problems, which comes from obviously like overplaying shoulder <laughs> things. You got I nerd mean, neck. I mean, if you, you don't know. exercise or anything and you don't stretch, and you're over here. Yeah, you don't get up, walk around like and stuff. You're hurting your, with that one player, swing. It's your... ow. Yeah, you're. <laughs> yeah. Also, I That's told you like... he's not good. Gamer raging out here. Low MMR. <laughs> your honor. He's not good. The gamer rage is proof. Like, if he was better at these games, maybe this wouldn't be happening. You know? <laughs> Poor kid. Like, get, get him to break all the stand by questioning his skills. That's, that's the, I get it now. You're right. Bro. He's putting all these hours in daily because he's trying to get good. Like, some of his friends, he only play, like, two hours. But that still day. reflects back on, like, the household and all that kind of stuff. It's like, yeah. even, like, as Rachel said, maybe this is the kid's only sense of achievement. And it all just goes back to, again, his yeah. psyche. And yeah. So he's not. You, he's get, not you get a child place. who's depressed, who's hormonal, who maybe yeah. you know maybe doesn't have a lot of friends. Um, you know, put him in a situation where you know he can achieve something, and it's like, of course, he's going to get addicted to that. I was. This is what I was even saying. Like, uh, almost to focus on the addicting thing, the way a lot of ranked things are set up, it is to sort of go like, look, you're winning, you're you're winning. Mm-hmm. Have a go at it, just because of to make you, you know, feel better you're right here on top you you're you're one of the top players here with like that's why a lot of companies uh you don't want them to use the real like proper matchmaking systems because you will see that you are way worse than you actually think and you will have less (laughs) excuses for yourself and so uh yeah i'm I'm actually like except you're actually plat yeah (laughs) i'm a real gamer Real, real, real. <laughs> so on, on that note uh we'll go ahead and close up shop for the day uh thank you guys so much for joining us for another episode of the same show ash why don't you let folks know where they can find you yeah what's up everybody you know it's just me ash, really? really with the big big ass big ass. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, put on your morgan freeman filter <laughs> you're, no. you're chugging that like there's a costco <laughs> bottle of vodka just like what's up everybody i'm ash yeah. Bring out the setup, bro. Just let uh, them see yeah, what I saw. The wow. Ash Redux uh, never streams, never does anything, always promises, never delivers. Uh, you know what it is. Uh, I don't want to lie. I'm not going to lie to anybody. <laughs> I love that. Always. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> One day. Um, One day he'll be back in the But summer. if you are in the open, uh, the open party discord or you're in... Uh, the Critical Zone Discord. When I do stream, I will put it there. You will see me. So just look out. Look out for your boy. Look I'll out. be there. What will I play? God, wow, great question. Uh, <laughs> but who knows? Just be there. Doesn't matter. You come for me. You don't come for the gameplay. You don't come for my amazing skill. You come for me. So it doesn't matter. That's up. fair. We That's we me. definitely don't come for your amazing skill. I hate uh, you. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. Okay. Uh, Frost, what, where can folks find you? What do you have coming up? Where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, so yeah, you got me on the Twitters, the shitters, whatever they call them now, with the X, <laughs> the tweets. So I don't know what they're pronounced now. And then, uh, yeah, you can find me over on Second Wind. What are we? Second Wind Gaming? Second, Second, Second Wind Group. Wind. Second, Second Wind Group, SWG. That's it's where it's I'm brand be. new. Sorry. For right now. Okay, just yeah, it's going to yeah. take a bit for me to get used to it. But yeah, that's where you can find me for right now. Do you guys have, have a Discord it. yet? Can we drop the link if you do? Because I'm not in it if you have one. Uh, we do no, have we, Discord. Do you have you didn't access? Get, you didn't get invited? Yeah, no, Hold on. It's probably for a reason. <laughs> kind of crazy. Right now, I'll throw it in the chat, I, I think. Kind of crazy. Okay. I know. Casey uh, don't really be thinking about me until you uh, watch me on the podcast. That's not true. I asked you to come on Super Smash Sunday like every week. And what <laughs> do you true. do? You go to church or something. 
<laughs> no, he gives the sermon. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Take yeah, me to church. You got to you got to show him oh what God, I Rachel. saw, bro. <laughs> uh Rachel, where can folks find you? What do you have coming up? Uh, you can find me at, uh, well, um, I'm a writer for Gamesbeat. You can find all my stuff there. And uh, you can find me, I want to, not just on Twitter anymore under this name, but also if you look for a link tree under my name, which is above my head, it's at Rachel Kayser. Um, you can find links to all of my other stuff. Uh, I do a daily gaming news blast on TikTok. I've been doing it since July now, where every weekday I go through the news of the day in the gaming world. It's a lot more than you might think. So if you ever want to know what's what in the gaming world i give you a daily update and uh, i have been working on um continuing my golden girls and perry mason recaps uh we've been a little bit on hiatus because i want to try something new so keep an eye out for later today because i may be able to, to do something new and fun on my instagram nice golden girls related so because i know y'all have been absolutely just like waiting and dying inside Chomping waiting for bits. me to get back to the golden girls, give me stuff, those girls. But we're uh yeah <laughs> Thank you, pardon. <laughs> but Darren. yes, this is all that. That's what I'm up to right now. Thank you so much. Uh, Darren, right. where can folks find you? What do you have coming up that they can check out? You can follow me anywhere at XX Shadow Kami XX. Uh, that name anywhere. Twitters, the Instagrams, whatever. If you see anybody else and it's not me, they're lying. <laughs> um, and as stated at the top of the show, you can uh, follow me and the boys with, at our podcast at Rusty Rupees or Rusty Rupees on Twitter with two Y's because Twitter's some hoes. Um, <laughs> He's right. And, Twitter is some hoes. <laughs> yes. Um, same <laughs> stream. Um, try to stream Monday through Sunday. Um, so tonight we'll be on some Street Fighter for the Sunday streets uh, later on in the PM Pacific Standard Time. Mm. Um, and then we, we just stream games talk crap with one another have a good time um we have a discord as well uh come on through we're dumb um besides that yeah at xx shadow kami xx and at rusty rupees anywhere uh thank you uh, if you send me the discord link in our group chat thing i'll post it in the stream chat for folks yes for sure, well, while, while he, like while he does join. that i just want to yell at casey again for not already getting me into uh second wins discord because i saw you guys apparently play dokapon kingdom and i didn't know that and i love watching people play dokapon kingdom uh <laughs> Bro, so i'm Dokupon actually Dokupon. really offended right now i want you um to i sent out announcements in mm -hmm. the open party mm -hmm. discord that we were mm -hmm. playing dokapon kingdom mm -hmm. over on the second wind and clearly mm -hmm. you don't Fudge. pay attention you were fake Fudge. he got me <laughs> he got me <laughs> Wow, no, there's a big old announcement right there. Yep. <laughs> Fudge. Wow. Uh, but on that note, well. um, as usual, you guys can find me over at uh, Sigma Gears 9 here on Twitch, as well as all other aspects of the freaking worldwide internet. Um, I've also uh, joined Second Wind. Uh, escape is no longer. Um, so I'll be the escape, the escape. hopefully uh, ramping up uh, content and stuff uh, that we're bringing back over the, the coming weeks and whatnot. So stay tuned for news about that sort of thing. Um, later today, though, over on the Open Party uh, Twitch channel, me and Superman Jeff should be returning with more Super Smash Sunday, 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, for three full hours of Smash Ultimate Mayhem, uh, King of the Hill, 1v1s, no items, never items. Come through, check it out. That's why Nintendo's suing, y'all. <laughs> Remember that. We don't, we don't charge any money, so... <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for episode uh, 122. Uh, like I said, we're going to be starting to uh, give folks uh, game codes as they come in. So again, if you rate the show, just send me proof that you did so. You'll be entered into a, you know, a random draft. Uh, and if you can guess the title of today's episode and send that to me before the podcast goes live, you will automatically win. The first person to do that just gets a code uh, as soon as I get them in. Uh, so keep that in mind. Yes, Ash. Am I able to guess the name, even though I can see what the name is in the in the notes? You can't see what the name is in the notes because I haven't written You'll it, add it yet. Eventually, you'll add it in, and I'll know. Can I'll I add it in. <laughs> no, I won't add it in until the podcast goes live. Don't. So there you go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Ash, for making sure that you guys can't cheat. <laughs> Dang it. Um, also, if you do both, like if you rate the show and guess the code like i'll just give you the thing because you just did both things like i <laughs> like I'll, I'll be fair in that way and again feel free to rate the show like you actually feel like i'm not gonna wait whether or not you get chosen based on whether it's a low rating or a high rating i want the feedback uh help me make this show better um as we try new shit uh but thanks again everybody in chat this has been great thanks to my uh four guests this week 
for hanging out with us. We will see y'all in the future. Take care, everybody. Be safe. Peace. Bye. Hello.